there's a correlation with the wind direction that was going on. If you compare these thermal anomalies to, you know, visual conditions, it's not like we see debris, you know, heavy discoloration, any repa repairs or anything in these areas. So there's something going on, you know, in this 1.2 million square foot, foot roof that we found the 121 anomalies that are causing these anomalies. So, you know, this is a great example of, you know, what you kind of, what you hope to see. Now, the, these thermal anomalies, like the temperature differential between wet locations and dry locations, suspected, were, you know, not very drastic in temperature change. So, you know, we suspect that they are lighter moisture areas as opposed to being really saturated or heavy moisture or potentially could be caused by unknown other reasons that, you know, we'll figure out. Um, but it's always important to have a temperature reference bar that shows you what color represents like roughly what temperature that we're seeing in the image set. Um, this was certainly a colder day. So, you know, we had definitely cooler temperatures as a whole on this whole roof system. Um, but here's the stitch that we produced after many attempts. And the problem was we had multiple data sets that, you know, it, this, these programs need one full complete data set. And we had to work off of multiple data sets to represent where all the thermal anomalies were clearly. So we used the best stitch that we could come up with to try to help map these out. And we also worked with our individual overview images to actually study these conditions. 